Hi everyone, it's Kelly from KLK Endeavors and I'd like to show you the January um, 2021 Bargain Bead Box subscription finished jewelry that I've made. I'll get it set up now. This month was, the theme was Pink Rose, oh, Roses are Pink, excuse me. And pink is not my favorite color. And so I had a little bit of a hard time making things this month, but I made this rope necklace. If you wear it regular, it'll hang down. It's like 43 inches, so it'll hang down at least 20. And the nice thing about this is that it does have a lobster claw just for easy on and off, or you can put it over your head. But if you want to wrap it twice around your neck, you can using the lobster claw so it'll fit around and it's really pretty. Show you a little bit up closer. Has a lot of gold cones and the pink crystals and the pink um, rose colored type beads, pinkish rose colored. And I have spacers. All kinds of neat things and then I put these other beads in here and they are pink and as you can see they're spotted with green red and they're really cute so I made this necklace then I took this giant focal and I glued I think this is called silver knight um, Swarkovsky crystals on it and I really like it because it just shimmers everywhere it was something different I wanted to try it with the rose gold um, pendant and then I used the rose gold chain whoops and it's sticking in my thing silly me and I used one of these hooks and I don't usually do that it's interesting but it will hold it well and that is that one. Okay, let me set up the anklet. This anklet I made with those little itty bitty rhodonite finely faceted beads. And I added rose gold spacers with it. And then I have a lobster claw in here. Standard size. I like that anklet. I like anklets. And then I made this anklet with the special, I want to make sure I say it right, uh, almond bisque luster. That is what these very light tan beads are. And then I added the spacers and I added some of the rhodonite little crystals and this one is a stretch brace or a stretch anklet so you want to roll it easily over your foot don't just stretch pull and try to put it over roll it over so you don't stretch it more than it needs to be for you so it'll last a long time okay then I decided to make a stretch bracelet and I added the little green translucent beads along with the almond bisque and the gold decorative spacers this time. So I have that. And then I wanted to use the vintage peach larger bicones. So I put them with the green translucent beads. And this is a stretch bracelet also. And then, well, let me set it up okay. for you. And then I decided to highlight the rose gold. I've never done this and not so much never made or anything with rose gold, but I decided to use the peach bicones, which are complementary to the rose gold links here. And I made that 
So I made that and I added a lobster claw. There it is. And I also made a pair of earrings to match with the rose gold and the peach. So I'm going to sell these as a set since they match. And then I have one more necklace I forgot to show you. Let me get that out. This was my favorite necklace, actually. I don't know how I missed it in the beginning, but I used the rose hand carved, the hand carved rose pendant, and the darker um, pink beads, and the rose. Beads, and I put a an extender chain on. There that is. And I just match them all up and put in some pretty gold flower bead caps, and the rose gold spacers. Yeah, so I, I really like this one. Just goes up and then hooks to the chain, the gold chain. So I have that. Let me show you what it looks like together, sort of. Okay, so here's a look at all of the jewelry put together. As you can see, they um, complement each other. And I made, let's see, one, two, three necklaces, two anklets, two bracelets, and one jewelry set, and then the bracelet and earrings. And then I made a really cool pair of pink flower earrings that were just adorable. And I'll have to put in a picture of those at the end for you because somebody swooped them up and I already got them. I tell you, so I did have fun, even though it was pink. This was my challenge get out of my comfort zone and start playing. So I'm really excited about what I did come up with, and now I can move. I can move and do the February bargain bead box. I'm almost caught up. If you like what you see, Please subscribe to my channel so you can be notified when new videos come up. And it was really a lot of great fun. If you want to get your own subscription, I'll put a link below to the Bargain Bead Box. It costs $17.95 a month, which is wonderful. And I made all this jewelry. So, um, my shop in which these will, are listed on... Um, will also be down below in the description. So, have a great day. If you have any com any feedback, please leave me comments because I love to see what other people think. Thanks. I'll see you again next time. Bye.